Hey my day lovers! So today I'm doing a little bullet journal with me. I'm new to bullet journaling so this is going to be a pretty simple beginner friendly spread because I myself am a beginner so you know this is a fun little spread to do that's easy and quick but I still think it's pretty pretty cute so I think that makes it a pretty good themed bullet journal spread. I decided to do bullet journaling because you know it's a new year so I was like why not give it a second chance I wanted to draw something and I wanted to draw something pretty simple just get some pen ink marker ink on paper and you know draw something and bullet journaling is a pretty good way to get some art in that simple and quick and you get a planner out of it so I was like I'll give it a second shot the last time I bullet journaled was November of 2021 so it's been a while and I've really only journal bullet journaled like three times before this which was September October and November of 2021 the three videos on my channel um so this is something that's still kind of new to me and i'm quite unfamiliar with it so i just wanted to do something simple i did look online for some bullet journal inspiration but like always all of the bullet journal spreads look so good and nice but you can tell that they're very complicated like some of them have like these cute little planets and i love space i would love to do a space themed bullet journal spread one of these days but just i could not draw that right now and make it look good i mean i could probably do an okay job but i don't know if you're anything like me but i like make mistakes when i bullet journal and it's kind of frustrating because when i make a mistake a lot of times i feel like i need to fix it and make it good or you know even restart and like restarting something that you've spent like 10 15 minutes drawing is annoying or even five minutes drawing it adds a lot of time and it makes bullet journaling frustrating and time consuming two things that personally i don't really like in an activity if it's overly time consuming and frustrating then what's the point i'm bullet journaling to get a planner out of it and to have a little bit of fun i shouldn't feel any pressure and so i decided with this spread that even if i make a mistake i'm not gonna restart anything and i'm just gonna do something really really simple and the way i decided this month's theme was actually i just looked in my dresser with all my pens and i was like what colors do i have I have pink, purple, and blue um, Tombow markers if I can make a spread with that. But I was like, I have a green Tombow marker. And then I took out the blue and I was like, I could make some pink and purple flowers with green leaves and it can look so cute. So it's like a three color spread. You could honestly even do this with three markers alone. I had a few more just to give it a little bit more variety. The flowers are different colors and different shapes. That was a decision I made after drawing the pink flowers. I was originally gonna have them all be like the pink flowers but then I was like I should add some variety and it made it a little bit more fun and I really liked the way that this spread turned out there were definitely some mess ups like on the calendar I drew like the flowers in the corner of the boxes and they're supposed to be in the upper left corner for most of them but I drew some of them in the upper right corner without even realizing it and I was I just went with it and it makes it look a little bit more fun I think it like gives it some character which I think is part of the fun of bullet journaling that gets lost in trying to make it look perfect maybe one of these days i'll also have those perfectly aesthetic bullet journals but today is just a day where i have a bullet journal with character bullet journaling like this was a lot of fun it let me make some decisions that were not planned which i think is good especially in the earlier stage i mean i'm a beginner i'm still learning so i don't really have like the bullet journal line to make like the aesthetic spreads that you see when you look up inspiration like with the habit trackers like i ran out of space for the second one so i drew some leaves on the side instead of like restarting from scratch but honestly that looked fine it didn't even look that bad or with the leaves like they were supposed to be like uniform like the second one but i decided to switch up the direction of some of the leaves and it looked so much better in my opinion i just think that it looked like the leaves were falling and it looks a little weird to have them uniform and then like all of a sudden different at the bottom but once again it's fine i mean it still serves its purpose i also drew like two extra leaves than i needed to for the first one so there's that but once again it serves its purpose and i still think it looks cute and then for my weekly spreads i changed them as i went on because i started to see things that i liked or disliked like the 
the spacing for the first spread was too much for any other spread so I split the spread into eight instead of six and added a week slot where I could draw like week things and I drew blobs for each one of my Monday Tuesday Wednesday week and those blobs are meant to just be a spot where I could write like, a daily goal I tried to have like a daily goal and I think writing it down will definitely help me with that daily goals are just great in my opinion so hopefully that will help me and then the week gives me the option to have a weekly goal and some weekly to do's weekly journal notes whatever i want to do like that's what this is for to do's and small little journals is kind of the idea with these weekly spreads i did also change like the headers of each day from being all pink to being pink and green and i changed the order of which i drew the dividing lines i drew them last in the first few spreads but then i started drawing them beforehand just so that way i would have the spacing correct and i realized that instead of using my fingers to measure i could also just eyeball it so i did that and so i think as i went on the spreads changed a little bit they were not uniform but i think that's fine because it's a learning process and it got better as it went on i mean this bullet journal is a lot of fun to make so i hope i'll stick with it for the rest of the year and i hope you guys will join me on that journey so please subscribe and hit that bell notification to get notified when i make that february plan with me and hopefully many more plan with me's to come but this is just my bullet journal i'll link the reviews for the supplies i used in the description box below the comment section and in the cards i used the tambo furonesque's and the zebra cure reach highlighters to add some sparkle and the ikea mala markers for the little flower doodles so hopefully those reviews help you out and maybe you can get the supplies and letter with me do this journal with me although you could honestly use whatever supplies you have at home all you need is a Boreola tip like marker and you probably have a marker like that but if you want to check those reviews out definitely check them out in the description below but yeah that's all for this video this bullet journal spread was a lot of fun to do and i'm really excited to keep going with it and i thought it was pretty approachable hopefully you find it approachable too and let me know of any other approachable easy fun bullet journal theme ideas that i can do in the future for me and for anyone else who's new to bullet journaling because it can seem very scary how perfect it is online to start with it so these simple ideas will help everyone who's new to bullet journaling thank you guys so much for watching please like comment and subscribe and remember to have a happy monday Bye bye